options for you on television, but you have still shown your interest towards spelling bee. Have you ever asked why? We know the answer. The answer is, it's because of our brilliant spellers. Yes, indeed. They have won your hearts with their performance, and you have taken spelling bee as a part of your family. So thank you very, very much. Hello and welcome to the fourth season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, enlightened by Summit, brought to you by Chance21.com in association with Blue. I'm Ramana Malik Moon Moon, along with our official pronouncer, Mrs. Zanad Javani, will take you through this journey. We are in the preliminary round, and as you already know, from 3,11,342 spellers, we got the top 96 spellers from all over Bangladesh. And amongst them, we have the six spellers for today's episode. And at the end of today's episode, the two top scorers will secure their place for the quarterfinal rounds. Now, let's get introduced to our six spellers for today's episode. At first, we have Shadman Zahid, student of Adventist International Mission School representing Borishal. And he has interests in history. Wonderful. Welcome to our show, Shadman. After that, we have student of Sunnydale, Dhaka, Ruhana Mahmood, and she loves to draw. Beautiful. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Next, we have Ramit Brata Vishash, student of Hartko International School, Dhaka, and he wants to become a software developer. Wow. Welcome to the show. <laughs> After that, we have Ornub Dash, student of Foser Hot Cadet College, representing Chittagong, and he loves to play guitar. Our second last scholar for today's episode, Rumin Chaudhary, student of Scholar School and College, Dhaka, and she loves to do crocheting. Wow, that's interesting. From whom did you learn this? From a friend. Really? Can you show us something after the episode? Yes, sir. All right, I'd love to do, learn from her indeed. So can we have a round of applause for her, please? And yes, indeed, our last speller for today's episode, it is uh, Dhruvo Shaha, student of Scholastic at Dhaka, and he wants to be an astrophysicist. Wow, that's quite interesting. All right, welcome to the show. I believe we are all set to start the competition. Are you all ready? Yes. yes. All right. So viewers, let's start our first round. Spell it. Since Shadman, Arnab, and Drubo, this is your second appearance, you know the rule, but for the viewers, I'd like to go through our rules first. Spell it. You'll be asked five words, each one of you. The moment you hear the word, you have to start spelling it within 20 seconds. Now listen, we'll give you the English meaning. If you need, you can ask for the Bangla meaning and parts of speech. If you give us the correct spelling, you earn your 10 points for each word. So are you all ready? We will start with you, Shadman, but before that, viewers, Apnara Monojuk the Shunban Amadar A rounder shop the Gulo. A shop the Gulo, Apnadek Jiti Tite Pare, Akur Shuni Purushkar. Let's start with you, Shadman. All the very best. Shadman, the first word for you is meteorite, and it means piece of rock or metal falling to earth. The word is meteorite. It is a noun. Is the spelling M-E-T-E-O-R-I-T-E, -E -E, meteorite? That is correct. Beautiful start, Shadman. Thank you. Well done. The second word is assailant, alternately pronounced as assailant. And it means a person who physically attacks another. The word is assailant, alternately pronounced as assailant. Is the spelling A S S A I L A N T assailant? That is correct. Two on two. Well done. The third word is philanthropy. Philanthropy is the word, and it means desire to promote welfare through charity. Uh, is it a noun? It is a noun. Okay. Is the spelling T H I L A N T H R O P Y philanthropy? That is correct. Whoa! Very good going, Shudman. The fourth word is modacious. Modacious, and it means denoting or using biting sarcasm. The word is modacious. Is it M O R D A S I O U S modacious? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is M O R D A C I O U S, modacious. That's okay. Okay, all right, last one. Take a deep breath, all the best. The final word is 
Holia. Holia, and it means a person or company whose business is transporting goods by road or railway. The word is Holia. Is it H O L I A H? Holia? I'm sorry, that isn't correct. The correct spelling is H A U L I E R Holia. Okay. Not a problem. 30 points from this round. Well done, Shadma. And yes, we have Ruhana with a beautiful smile. Are you ready? All the best. Ruhana, the first word for you is a diabetic, alternately pronounced as a diabetic. It means impossible to heat. A D I A B A T I C, a diabetic. That is correct. Whoa, that's a good start, Ruhana. You look good when you smile, so relax. Don't be nervous, okay? All the best. The second word is whimsical. Whimsical, and it means unusual and not serious in a way that is either amusing or annoying. W H I M S I C A L, whimsical. That is correct. Two on two. Well done, Ruhana. Relax now. The third word is sacrilegious. Sacrilegious, and it means an act of treating a holy thing or a place without respect. Can you repeat the word? The word is sacrilegious. S A uh, C R E L I G I O U S, sacrilegious. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is S A C R I L E G I O U S, sacrilegious. Ruhana, look at me. Can you just relax for a moment? You're doing good. No problem. And our pronouncer is not that scary, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so relax. You can do it. Two more words to go. You can spell it right, okay? All the best. Go on. The next word is achimosis. Alternately pronounced as achimosis. And it means a discoloration of the skin resulting from bleeding underneath. Is the word A C C A M O? S I S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is E C C H Y M O S I S. Achimosis, alternately pronounced as achimosis. Still one more word left, okay? Go slow, take your time, you can do it. All the best. The final word is dashiki, and it means a loose shirt or longer piece of clothing worn by men. D A C H E Q U E Y. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is D A S H I K I, the Shiki. Ruana, you earned your 20 points from this round. Not a problem at all. A round of applause for you, of course. <laughs> we'll move on to Ramit. Are you ready? Yes. Sir. Good luck. The first word is inalienable, and it means that cannot be taken away from you. The word is inalienable. I N A L I E N A B L E. Inalienable. That is correct. Very careful spell. Well done. The second word is Adele. And it means to make somebody unable to think clearly or to confuse somebody. Is the word A D U L L Adele? I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is A D D L E Adele. Okay, not a problem. We have still got three more words, so take your time. All the best. The next word is fortuitous. Fortuitous, and it means happening by chance, especially a lucky chance that brings a good result. The word is fortuitous. F O R T U I T O U S. Fortuitous. That is correct. Well done. Ten more points. Very good. The next word is. Labyrinth. Labyrinth, and it means complicated, maze-like structure. The word is labyrinth. It's the word L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H. Labyrinth. That is correct. Whoa. Good job, Ramit. Ten more points. The final word is Achkan, alternately pronounced as Achkan. Um, is the word A-J-K-A-N, Achkan? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is A-C-H-K-A-N, Achkan, alternately pronounced as Achkan. Well done. 30 points from this round, Ramit. Good job.
Arnav, since you're experienced from the last season, are you ready? You can do it. Okay, all the best. The first word is mimicry. Mimicry. And it means imitating a, someone as a joke. Is the word M I M I C R Y? Mimicry. That is correct. Good start. 10 points, Arnold. The second word is gratuitous. Gratuitous. And it means done without any good reason or purpose and often having harmful effect. The word is gratuitous. G R A T U I T O U S. Gratuitous. That is correct. Two on two, Arnold. Well done. The next word is obsecretion. Obsecretion, and it means earnest pleading or supplication. The word is obsecretion. It's the word O B S E C R E T I O N. Obsecretion. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is O B S E C R A T I O N. Obsecretion. Not a problem, two more words to go. The next word is mannequin, and it means a dummy used to display clothing in a shop or a store. It's M A N N E Q U I N, mannequin. That is correct. Beautiful. The final word is fablio, and it means a metrical tale, typically a type found chiefly in early French poetry. The word is fablio. It's the word F-A-B-L-I-O, Fablio. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is F-A-B-L-I-A-U, Fablio. Well tried, you got your 30 points from this round, Arno. And now we'll be moving on to our next contestant. Rubin, ready? Yes. All the best. The first word is fathomless, fathomless. And it means unable to be measured or understood. Is it F-A-T-H-O-M-L-E-S-S, -S, fathomless? That is correct. No doubt. Good start, Roman. Ten points. The second word is misinterpretation. Misinterpretation. Misinterpretation is the word. Is it M-I-S-I-N-T-E-R-P-R-E-T-A-T-I-O-N, misinterpretation? That is correct. Beautiful play, two on two. The next word is incumbent and it means a person who has an official position the word is incumbent alternately pronounced as incumbent is it i n c u m b e n t incumbent that is correct there you are two on three very good going the next word is isoseismal isoseismal and it means lines on a map connecting places where earthquake of equal strength was experienced the word is isoseismal. Is it I S O S E I S M A L? Isoseismal? That is correct. Whoa! Very well said. And I have to mention, while our pronouncer was giving the meaning, she was actually mumbling. So she knew the whole meaning, and of course, she's well prepared. That's what it shows. Well done. Very well done, Rumi. The final word is idolon. Idolon, and it means an idealized person or thing. The word is idolan. I-D-O-L-A-N, idolan. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is E-I-D-O-L-O-N, idolan. Oh, that silent took our 10 points. But anyways, 40 points, well played. <laughs> and our last speller, Drubo. Ready to go? Yep. Good luck. Drubo, the first word is guileless. Guileless, and it means behaving in a very honest way. The word is Guileless. Guileless. Guileless is the word. G U I L E L E S S. Guileless. That is correct. Well played. Good start, Jubal. The second word is impassive, and it means not feeling or showing emotion. The word is impassive. I M P A S S I V E. Impassive. That is correct. Well done. Two on two. The third word is harbinger, and it means something that announces the approach of something. The word is harbinger. H A R B I N G E R, harbinger. That is correct. There you are, 30 points. Well done. 
The next word is marquetry, and it means patterns or pictures made of pieces of wood on the surface of furniture. M A R Q U E T R Y marquetry. That is correct. Four on four. Good going. Last one. The final word is fuxin, and it means a small bush with flowers in two colors of red, purple or white, that hang down. The word is fuxin. F U X H I N E fuxin. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is F U C H S I N, alternately spelled as F U C H S I N E fuxin. Well played. You got your 40 points from this round. Well done. <laughs> Viewers, this brings us to the end of the first round. But yes, you have to listen to me now. Spelling B akun shabar jorno. Apnar apna the Android phone Google Play Store theke download koronin Champs 21 app ti. Ebang khelo na amader spell Champs game ti. Jato itche tato puru season jure. Aar apna the moto theke top 30 scorers pete jatsen blue per show jorne akur shuniyo puruskar. We'll come after this short Champs 21 break. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we'll announce the results. After the break, you're watching the preliminary round of the fourth season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, enlightened by Summit, brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Blue. Before we go, we have the first round. We have the first round. We have the first round. I'll start with Shudman. Your score is 30 points. After that, Ruhana at 20 points. Next, Ramit at 30 points. Arnov is also at 30 points. Rumain at 40 points. Rubo is also at 40 points. Well done, scholars. It's time to start our second round, which is Spell Hive. In Spell Hive, you'll have to crack five words. The first word is a four-letter word, and these four letters will repeat as you go down the hive. You just have to add one letter to each word. Now, we will give you a clue, which is the first letter of the first word. You can ask for another clue, which is the last letter of the first word. In that case, you'll play the hive for 45 points instead of 50. You'll get total 90 seconds. So I believe you're all set, right? Okay, all the best. We'll start with you, Shadman. Shadman, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with an R. The word means a fixed amount of something. The second word means to act in response to something. The third word means to make something happen. The fourth word means to burn a dead body. And the final word means to make something soft by soaking in water. And your time starts now. Is the first word rate, R-A-T-E? That is correct. Is the second word react, R-E-A-C-T? That is also correct. Is the third word create, C-R-E-A-T-E? -E? That too is correct. Is the fourth word cremate, C-R-E-M-A-T-E? -E? That is correct. You've still got enough time. Thank you. Is the last word miserate, M-E-C-E-R-A-T-E? -E? I'm sorry, the word is right, but you spelled it wrong. The correct spelling is M-A-C-E-R-A-T-E, -E, macerate. All right, you still have got 25 seconds left, but you deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Moving on to our next speller, it is Ruhana. Ruhana, you don't have to go that fast. You can slow down, look at the meaning, take your time. All the best. Ruhana, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with an N. The word means a short distance away. The second word means to gain knowledge. The third word means the amount that you pay to an owner. The fourth word means a lamp with a transparent case protecting the flame. And the final word means connected with the inside of something and your time starts now. Uh, the first word near, N-E-A-R, near. That is correct. 10 points. 
Is the four is the second word learn? L E A R N learn. That is also correct. Twenty. You could crack any other word, not necessarily the third one. You have got the more. The final than word means connected with the inside of something. You've got enough time. Look at any other word, please. You can do it. How about the fourth word, which means a lamp with a transparent case protecting the flame? Half a minute left. Look at the meaning. Just add one letter to the third one. The third word means the amount that you pay to an owner. Last five seconds. Anything that comes in your mind, give us a give us a word quickly. Ah, and time is up. Okay, no problem. We got to 20 points from this round. Can we have the rest of the words, please? Ruhana, the third word that you didn't get was rental, R-E-N-T-A-L. The fourth word that you missed was lantern, L-A-N. T E R N and the final word was internal I N T E R N A L internal. All right, Ramit, it's your turn. I believe you're ready. Good luck. The hive is on your screen. The first word starts with an S. The word means a thing made or used for sitting. The second word means make fun or attempt to provoke in a playful way. The third word means calm someone or make them sleep. The fourth word means most loved or cherished. And the last word means a padded support for the head on the back of a seat and your time starts now. The first word is seat, S-E-A-T. That is correct. The second word is tease, T-E-A-S-E. That is also correct. The fourth word is dearest, D-E-A-R-E-S-T, dearest. That too is correct. The fifth word is headrest, H-E-A-D-R-E-S-T, headrest. That is correct. More than a minute in your hands, so go slow. The third word means calm someone or make them sleep. Either add one letter to the second word or get rid of one letter from the fourth one. The word means to calm someone or make them sleep. Try with the letters. Ten seconds left. Any word that comes up in your mind. Oops, and your time's up. Anyways, no problem. 40 points from this round. Good job, I'm sure. Can we have the word he missed? The word was sedate, and it's spelled S-E-D-A-T-E, -E, sedate. Ah, oh, that was an easy one. But anyways, never mind. One more round to go. Let's see what happens. Yes, Arnob, we'll be moving on to your hive. All the best. Arnob, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with a T. The word means to have ripped or shredded something. The second word means an informal beginning or starting. The third word means to direct somebody or something towards something. The fourth word means a natural substance found in meat, fish, etc. And the final word means a person receiving a master's or a doctor's degree at a university and your time starts now. I think he's cracking all the words, but if you need the clue, we can give you the last letter. Is the first word T O R N torn? That is correct. The second word intro I N T R O intro. That is also correct. Is the fourth word protein P R O T E I N? That too is correct. And is the 
fifth word I N C E P T O R Inceptor. That is correct. Very good going. Just one more word left. Take your time. The third word means to direct somebody towards something. Half a minute left. Try with the letters. The meaning of the third word is to direct somebody towards something. Last 10 seconds. Just think anything that comes up in your mind. Take a chance. The one R O U T I N E routine. And your time's up. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The third word that you got wrong was orient. O R I E N T, orient. All right, well played. 40 points from this round, Arno. <laughs> Rumin, it's your turn. You already did quite good in the first round. So keep it up. All the best. Rumin, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with a C. The word means the central part of an object. The second word means the number of points, etc., achieved in a game. The third word means a part of a particular area or circle. The fourth word means a ship that sails from port to port along a coast. And the final word means a person in your family who lived a long time ago. And your time starts now. Is the first word core? C O R E. That is correct. Is the second word score S C O R E? That too is correct. Is the third word sector S C S E C T O R? That is correct as well. Is the fourth word coaster C O A S T E R? That is also correct. Is the fifth word ancestor A N C E S T O R? Five out of five, and that's a nicely built high. Wow, that's like scaling the summit. Wonderfully played. Beautiful. Well done. 50 points from this round. Moving on to Drubo. Dhruvo, Rumin has already set the benchmark. I'm sure you'll do the same. So, good luck. The hive is on your screen. And the first word starts with an R. The word means a competition between runners. The second word means easy to perceive or understand. The third word means an object to be sent by post. The fourth word means duplicate of an original work. And the final word means unusual in nature and your time starts now. The first one's race, R-A-C-E. That is correct. The second one's clear, C L E A R. That too is correct. The third one's parcel, P A R C E L. That is also correct. The fourth one's a replica, R E P L I C A. That is correct as well. You've got more than a minute. Take your time. Add one letter to the fourth word. You can do it. Take your time. Relax. Don't rush. Is it peculiar? P E C U. L I A R, peculiar. Five out of five, and that's a nicely built hive. Wonderfully played. Again, I have to say, that's like scaling the summit. Beautiful. I think they deserve another round of applause. Beautiful. This round went very well, as you can see, and the next round will also be better than this. We guarantee on that, so do stay with us. We'll go for a short Champs 21 break. And yes, Champs21.com is an e-learning portal that serves contents on academic and extracurricular activities for the students, teachers, and parents. So keep visiting Champs21.com, and don't go anywhere. Stay tuned, please. You're watching the preliminary round of the fourth season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee Enlightened by Summit brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Blue. Viewers, Jati Gaurar Ashul Karigar Shikhok and Summit salutes the nation builders. You can also be a part of this effort. Log in korun Champs21.com e ebong apnar priyo Shikhok somporke amader kache likhe pathan. We'll feature that in Daily Star and also in this program as well as in the champs21.com portal. Amra birotite jawar age amader second round or the spell hive round shesh kore giyechhilam ebar ektu score ta dekhe nei. 
Shadman at 70 points. After that, Ruhana at 40 points. Ramit at 70 points. Arnav is also at 70 points. Rumin at 90 points. And Drubo is also at 90 points. Well done, scholars. Now it's time for our third and final round, which is Spell Buzz. Spell Buzz. In this round, we'll ask you six words. You'll have to find out the words from the clues that will be given to you. Two clues will be given. The first clue will have the first letter of the word along with the meaning of the word. The second clue will have the letters of that word in a jumbled manner. Now, this is a buzzer round. So whoever presses the buzzer first will get the chance to answer first. Now you have to be very careful as I say. If you press the buzzer after the first clue and give us the correct answer, you can easily earn 10 points. But if you give us incorrect answer, you lose the chance to participate after the second clue. If you press the buzzer after the second clue and give us the correct word, you'll get five points. If you give us incorrect answer, minus five. So please be very careful and make sure you know the word along with the spelling of the word before you press the buzzer. All right, this is the decisive round. After this round, we'll come to know which two spellers amongst you will join us for the quarter-final round? Are you all ready? Yes. yes. Good luck. Let's start. Spellers, the first buzzword starts with the letter E. It means information indicating something as true. And yes, it's a true. It's evidence. E-V-I-D-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Evidence. That is correct. Ten points. Well done, Trubo. Others, get ready. The second buzzword starts with the letter B. It means stupid, careless mistake. Yes, it's a rumin. It's blunder. B-L-U-N-D-E-R, blunder. That is correct. Wonderful. The third word starts with the letter A, and it means a device designed to perform a specific task. Nobody press the buzzer. So we can go for the second clue now. The second clue is on your screen. And yes, it is Ramit. You have to answer within 10 seconds. And I'm sorry, we have to deduct five points from your score, Ramit. Bad luck. Anyways, can we have the word, please? The word was appliance, and it's spelled A P P L I A N. CE, appliance. Three more words to go. Once again, spellers, please make sure you know the word before you press the buzzer. All the best. The fourth buzzword starts with the letter B, and it means a room or a floor which is partly or entirely below ground level. It is Drubo. The word's basement, B-A-S-E-M-E-N-T. That is correct. Wonderful. Ten more points, Drubo. The fifth buzzword starts with the letter O, and it means an incident or event. Once again, Drubo, go for it. It's occurrence, O-C-C-U-R-R-E-N-C-E, -E, occurrence. That is correct. Wonderful. Last buzzword. Spellers, are you ready? Good luck. The final buzzword starts with the letter V, and it means a change or slight difference in condition. Oh, ho, Drubo, go it's for it! Variation, V A R I A T I O N. Variation. That is also correct. Wow, well played. Four out of six buzzword you have got correct. Wonderfully played. It's time to announce the final scores. Let's take a look. At first, we have Ruhana at 40 points. Well tried, Ruhana. Then we have Ramit at 65 points. Well played. After that, Arnob at 70 points. Shadman is also at 70 points. And yes, indeed, the two top scorers for today's episode, it is Rumin at 100 points. Drubo at 130 points. Congratulations to both of you.
You are joining us for the quarterfinal, and I'd also like to thank the rest of the spellers for being such a wonderful spellers. Thank you very much. Get set, ready, go, 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 go. Presenting to you our two quarterfinalists, Rumin Chaudhary from Scholar School and College, Dhaka, and Dhruvo Shaha from Scholastic at Dhaka. Congratulations. <laughs> মনে আছে তো স্পেলিং বি এখন সবার জন্য আপনারা আমাদের এই আয়োজনের অংশ হতে পারেন আপনাদের মোবাইল ফোনের মাধ্যমে আপনাদের অ্যান্ড্রয়েড ফোনে ডাউনলোড করে নিন গুগল প্লে স্টোর থেকে চ্যাম্পস টোয়েন্টি ওয়ান অ্যাপটি এবং খেলুন স্পেল চ্যাম্পস গেমটি যত ইচ্ছে তত আমাদের এই পুরো সিজন শেষে টপ থার্টি পার্টিসিপেন্টস উইল রিসিভ অ্যান অ্যাট্রাকটিভ প্রাইজ সো খেলতে থাকুন আর আমাদের এই আয়োজনের অংশ হতে থাকুন এখন জানিয়ে দিচ্ছি আমাদের চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স পেলারের জন্য কি অপেক্ষা করছে আমাদের চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স পেলারের জন্য রয়েছে এই চমৎকার ট্রফিটি সেই সাথে ওয়াশিংটন ডিসিতে একজন অভিভাবক সহ ভ্রমণের সুযোগ আমরা অপেক্ষায় রয়েছি আমাদের চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স পেলারের আর আপনারা অপেক্ষায় থাকুন আমাদের আগামী পর্বের জন্য অর্থাৎ চোখ রাখুন চ্যানেল আইয়ের পর্দায় প্রতি বুধ এবং বৃহস্পতিবার সন্ধ্যা সাতটা পঞ্চাশ মিনিটে আমরা চলে আসবো আমাদের চমৎকার সব স্পেলারদেরকে নিয়ে যেতে যেতে সবাই একসাথে বলতে চাই Oh, how am I hurry, Java, name, man? 